All right, in this video, this is 4.1, we're going to start talking about arc length. So, before we do that, let's just get some terminology down. Um, here I have a circle, and um, everyone should know that this line right here, so if that's the center of my circle, everyone should know, oops, everyone should know that I call this segment here my radius. And this angle right here is called the central angle. So the angle that's made with two radii is called the central angle. Now we use this variable here, it's called theta. So I'm going to write that down just as a reminder. And that's You're going to see that a lot this year. That is the variable we use. I mean, we could use x, we could use anything we want, but that conventionally represents an angle. And again, that's pronounced theta. Okay, um, and this, this here, this distance right here, which I'll highlight, because that's the subject of this video, this is called the arc of the circle. Pen keeps getting stuck. That's the arc of the circle, and it's, it's uh, denoted by the letter S. Okay, so our goal, our goal in this video is to find ways to find the length of the arc. And we'll come up with a nice formula. to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at a simple example. So I'm going to look at this, uh, I'm going to look at my cir uh, circle I have down here. Let's call that, let's say the radius is 8. My central angle clearly is 90 degrees. Ninety degrees. And we want to know what is the length of the arc? What is the length of this this arc right there. Now, I hope, I hope a lot of you know the answer sort of, or how to get the answer right away, because um, because 90 degree angles, I mean, you can see that this cuts the circle into four pieces. So if we could just figure out what the circumference or the distance around the circle is and then divide by four, I think that would give us our answer. So let's just recall what the formula for the circumference or the distance around a circle is. The circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius, right? So we can come up with the circumference of this circle. In this case, it's 2 times pi times 8, which is equal to 16 pi. Okay, so what about the length of this arc? Well, if you think about it, if the whole distance around the circle is 16 pi, and I'm only going a fourth of the way, then my arc length is just going to be one fourth of the total distance around. So it's one fourth times my 16 pi, which is four pi. Okay, so that may not seem too difficult, and it shouldn't be, but I want to point something out, something really important, and that is that this one-fourth, how do we know that we wanted to calculate one-fourth of the total distance around? And I claim the reason we know that is because, if you look, and hopefully you saw this too, this 90 degrees, okay, what fraction of the th total 360 degrees that there are in a circle, what fraction is 90 degrees? Well, it's one-fourth, right? 90 degrees is a fourth of, of uh, 360 degrees. So let's just note that. That one-fourth is the same as 90 divided by 360. So the fraction of the arc we want is given by the central angle there. Okay, so... Um, so I bring that up because 
if we want to do a more difficult example, or an example where it's not so clear-cut, like in the example I'm about to put down, let's say over here we've got oops, this, this bamboo tablet, ah, that's not what I want. This bamboo tablet is it's great, but sometimes it drives me crazy. What if we were looking at this picture instead? Here's my, uh, here's my circle, my central angle there, and let's make it uh, something else. Let's not make it, let's not make it 90 degrees, which so say that's 20 degrees. So my central angle is 20 degrees. And let's say my radius is, uh, you know, 40. Clearly this isn't a scale when you compare to the other picture. And now we need to find the arc length, right? Well, we know the circumference because we know the radius, so that's not a problem. Circumference is not a problem. 2 times pi times 40, so that's 80 pi. Right? Um, but I only want this distance here in, in blue, or in light pink, or whatever that color is. I only want that distance. So well, how do I do that? Well, I just say that proportionally, the fraction of the total, uh, the amount of degrees that 20 degrees is in the whole circle, that's going to be the fraction that I multiply my circumference by. In other words, the ratio of 20 degrees divided by 360 degrees, that should be the same ratio as this arc length divided by the total arc length. So, as above I put, I multiplied by 1 fourth, or 90 divided by 360. This time I'm just going to multiply by 20 divided by 360. So, in other words, the arc length is 20 360ths of the circumference, which is 80 pi. All right, and we can do a little, you know, clean up here. We could just go put this in our calculator, which we'll do in a sec. But those zeros cancel, and so then I get, and 2 goes into 2 over 36 divided into 1 over 18 times 80 pi. And let's see, it's like 80 pi over 1. 2 goes into 18 9 times. 2 goes into 80 40. So this is 40 pi times 1, 40 pi, divided by uh, 9 times 1 is 9. And again, we can go to our calculator, do that out if we have to. 40 pi times 9, uh, but that's a 2. It's not a 9. There's a 9. 1,130.97. Uh, One thousand nine thirty point nine seven. All right, there we go. So, um, so in conclusion, we can we can write down. I mean, this won't change if my angle changes. I can just use the same formula. So, in conclusion, the formula for an arc length we can write up here. Where the length of an arc is, it's equal to the central angle over 360 times the circumference. That's going to give you the fraction of the circumference that that arc, arc length occupies. And again, that theta there in this case is the central angle. And the arc score is, of course, we're denoting by the letter S. Okay, so we've got a formula, and um, and this is going to be useful. Circles are going to be very important for us in this unit.